Bayern with a massive result as we easily cruise past Barcelona and head on to the knockout stage of the Champions League. Let's get right into it. Welcome to Talking Bayern, the one-stop shop for Bayern Munich content on YouTube. Today we're doing a match reaction and review of the game against Barcelona on match day 6 of the Champions League. So, obviously this was a very big game for Barcelona. They knew if they wanted to 100% solidify their position in the Champions League knockout stage, they would need to win this game. Of course, if Benfica had lost, they would have been fine, but to you know, really 100% confirm their chances, they would have had to win this game. And of course, Benfica won anyways, so... Clearly, Barcelona did not do the job they needed to do. Obviously, it was a very tough task going to Munich and winning. You know, even without fans, it's still a very hard task to beat Bayern at the Allianz Arena. And obviously, Bayern came out. They didn't want to play lightly as I you know, expected. I did expect a lighter lineup as that's kind of what the rumors were. and That's kind of what the talk was early on the week. Obviously, I think it was Tuesday he had announced that he was going to play his best, basically, lineup available. So obviously, that threw off my predictions a bit, but... Going to our laps for Bayern Munich on Wednesday, we had Manuel Neuer, Inet at the back, Alfonso Davies, Upa Meccano, Nicholas Sewell, and Benjamin Mavard. In the defensive midfield, we had Quarantine Tolisso. In the attacking midfield, we had Sané, Muller, Musiala, and Koeman. And up top, we had Robert Lewandowski. For our opponent, Barcelona, they had Ter Stegen in net at the back, Jordi Alba, Langley, Piquet, and Areu. In the midfield, Gavi, Busquez, and De Jong. And up top, Dembele, Depay, and Dest. Some quick stats for this game. Um, just so first of all, shots, we outshot them 10 to 7, and we outshot them 6 to 2 on target. And we had a 53% possession with an 86% pass accuracy, and we had 10 fouls, and Barcelona had 13. So just some observations I had throughout the game. Um, Luka McConaughey got burned early on, and Barcelona had a decent chance across the box, um, which kind of worried me a little bit. Obviously, early in the game, it was 0-0. Obviously, they didn't score that. Um, but there were some great opportunities on free kicks early, but unfortunately, we couldn't make anything out of great locations. We had some two really good free kicks. Um, in some pretty good spots, obviously, we didn't really generate anything from them. That was a brutal misplay with the handoff to Muller in the box on the 2-on-1. It was offside anyways, but I mean, that should be a goal in that scenario every single time. There's really no excuses there, so definitely a poor display by Muller there. And, you know, we had a pretty quiet game early on. I didn't really have much to say about the first 25 minutes of the game, honestly. Um, but Fonzie had a disappointing cross, which I thought he could have done much better with. I think he's been exceptional pushing up the field, but his final actions have been missing the punch they needed, especially in this first half. Um, I thought he was close, but if you know he can nail that like last pass or last cross, he would be absolutely devastating on the offense for us. Muller had a great opportunity coming up like the left side where he should have shot, but his pass was off, and it really felt like we should have had a goal there. Disappointing to see us not score there. And then early on, Jordi Alba was injured early with what looked like a hamstring issue and was subbed off for Oscar Mingueza in the 31st minute. Uh, Benfica was winning 2 nothing at this point, so Barca knew they would have to win to move on, and the pressure really started to build, at least for them. And then just minutes later, Muller scored a very clumsy header, kind of off the top of his head, kind of leaning back, that just crossed over the line before being cleared by Barcelona. Of course, it did cross the line, so it was a goal, giving Bayern a nice one nothing lead after the 35th minute. Then Coman had a really clumsy move and almost give up the ball. Meanwhile, he could have given it to Sané, who was making a great run. Kind of disappointing to see Coman do that. And then Leroy Sané with a banger from far that beat Ter Stegen. And at this point, it was looking like it was over for Barcelona already. Obviously, they would have to win this game. They're already down 2-0. Um, obviously, Benfica was winning 2-0 at this point. And, you know, they probably knew this and they probably weren't feeling good. Obviously, they didn't really show any energy out there. And, and Ter Stegen on that one showed some awful goalkeeping there. Only using one hand was questionable, and it obviously cost him. He didn't really get a full connection either, so kind of have to ask what he was doing there. Right off the bat of the first half, Sonny had an atrocious miss. Really should have made it 3-0 at the start of the first half, but obviously that didn't matter. But still, Sonny definitely should have scored that one. It was obviously a perfect layoff, and you know he's got to be doing better at that. And then I didn't really see what was going on. I couldn't really hear, um, but there was something going on with the ref shirt. I saw like Upama kind of was helping him. Had no idea what was going on there, so if anyone cares to kind of elaborate what was going on there, please let me know in the comments. And then Musiala scored a third, and Barca just looked absolutely defeated. Obviously, they knew it was over for them. It was a great assist by Davies, who I said had you know not good end product in the first half. Obviously, finally made it happen, for especially great to see Musiala score. Um, great to see him to finally connect since he had been knocking for quite some time now. Obviously, Davies been creating, creating, but just so close. Great to see him get one. And then Sané scuffed another massive opportunity when we had a 3-1. and one. Um, Obviously, a very poor pass, Lewandowski. Obviously, he could have done a lot more with that. Obviously, there was a defender in the way, but I thought he was going to, you know, maybe dribble a bit more and then lay it off or just honestly do anything but just pass away to the defender, which obviously did not look good. By the 77th minute of the game, we had a bunch of young guys in and the game just really started to just slow down and just, you knew it was over. No one was really going that hard at that point. And in the end, 
Bayern finished top of the group with a 6-0-0 record, and we should be feeling really good going to the knockout stage. Obviously, you know, it's not that strange for us to go 6-0-0. I know we've been doing it quite a bit, but still, obviously a very, very good result. A perfect group stage. I know we, uh, probably our closest game was the game against Kiev, surprisingly, um, on match day 5. But still, obviously, you got to be happy with this. Let's go on. Let's do some great things in the knockout stage. I think we got to be one of the favorites going into the knockout stage. And just some last few notes. I was really happy to see Moose score in this one and get the confidence back up a bit, considering he hasn't really been getting much play time at all over the last 10 games or so. Another interesting stat is that it's Muller's 50th goal in Champions League history for him. He's now level with Cherry Henry for 7th all-time in Champions League goal scorers. At the end of the day, it was very enjoyable to beat Barcelona and send them down to the Europa League. But apart from that, um, apart from that kind of satisfaction, it wasn't really that exciting a game, as I said. We honestly, we, I didn't think we played that good, honestly. I thought Barcelona just didn't really have any good thing going for them at all in this game. I thought they were really, really poor, and I think Bayern easily could have scored probably 6 in that one. And, you know, despite finishing top of the group, I don't want to be negative on, you know, what should be a very happy day. Obviously, we won 6-0-0. But, you know, there's still some really solid teams that we could draw, such as Chelsea and PSG. Um, so I'm, I'm a little worried in that regard, but we'll find out the results soon. I'll make sure to do a video on that. But there's definitely some concern that we can get Chelsea and PSG. I know, you know, we're a really good team and should want to take on kind of anyone. But still, a team like that in the round of 16, I don't want to see us head home in the round of 16. Those are obviously two top, top clubs in Europe that we could potentially draw. So my man of the match for this game will be Alfonso Davies. I know although his crosses and passes were a bit off in the first half, he was creating tons of problems for Barcelona and tearing Des apart. Um, that's probably probably the reason Des was subbed off early in this one. And obviously said Davies needs to get that end product just a little bit there, and I think we would have, you know, one of the best players in the world, honestly. I know he's super, super good already and probably the best left back in the world. But his his roles continue to change and he's going more and more offensively. So I want to see a bit more connection there. And just a quick dishonorable mention to two players. Um, unfortunately I have to give one to Libre Sani. He had a he just looked off this game. Um, obviously, at least with his end product, he really should have scored at least one more goal in this game. He had kind of two tap-ins, um, and, you know, I don't know how he didn't score at least one of those or not two. He had some great, you know, positioning and dribbling in this game. I will give him that, but his end product was really, really off this game. And then, obviously, the biggest dishonorable mention of this game has to go to Ter and I thought he had a really bad game. Honestly, he was lucky that his kind of, we kind of screwed up sometimes and that he was let off the hook a bit there. I mean, especially on that Sonic goal, he really shoved down a better that going for the one hand was just really questionable. Um, it also looks like he fell a bit when Sonic made that later on in the 87th minute and was certainly not in position if Sonic actually had him hit the net there. Honestly, Ter Stegen got off of this one really easy with only conceding three goals. Honestly, if we clean up our end game a little bit and just kind of getting that finishing product there, I think we are going to be very, very happy with this team. I think we have to be happy with this performance, at least just in the midfield and attacking. So I thought... This is a very good game, and we're going to head on to this game, hopefully clean up going into the holiday break. We have a few more games. We're playing Mines on Saturday, so make sure to look out for that one. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more Bayern Munich content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, mia samia.